how to create and set up a PayPal account. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. For today's tutorial, we will teach you how to create and set up your own PayPal account. PayPal is a widely recognized and trusted online payment platform that allows individuals and businesses to send and receive money securely. With over 300 million active users worldwide, PayPal provides a convenient and reliable way to make online transactions. In this step-by-step -step guide, we'll walk you through the process of creating and setting up your own PayPal account. Whether you're an individual looking to make a personal payment or a business owner seeking to accept online payments, PayPal offers a range of features and functionalities to meet your needs. But what is PayPal? Simply put, PayPal acts as a digital wallet allowing you to link your bank account, credit card, or debit card to your PayPal account. Once set up, you could use PayPal to make payments online without having to share your financial information with the recipient. This adds an extra layer of security and convenience to your online transactions. By following our tutorial, you'll learn how to sign up for a PayPal account, link your preferred payment methods, and complete the necessary verification steps. We'll also cover additional features and settings that can enhance your PayPal experience. So, now let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to do is, of course, go to PayPal.com. This is the homepage of PayPal, and if you would like to learn more information about PayPal, aside from what we have talked about earlier, you can simply go to their website and read through the different information available on their homepage right now. So, now let's begin creating our first account. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on sign up over here on the top right and then you would be redirected to this page. Now you will be able to have two options on the type of account you will be creating. You have the personal account which is for shopping online from millions of global sellers, for sending and receiving payments globally, for shop with confidence with buyer protection or you could choose from a business account that will allow you to send and receive payments under a business name, a 24-7 online fraud monitoring and seller protection, and there is no setup, monthly or hidden fees for this type of account. You choose whatever type of account that you would like, but for us, we're going to go with the personal account for now because this is what the type of account most of us would actually be creating. So we're going to click on next. And now over here, you're going to choose if you're an online shopper, individual seller, or a freelancer, both of the above, or I'm not sure over here. You could choose any of op this option. Make sure that it is accurate because PayPal will be reviewing your account and you wouldn't be able to withdraw some money depending on what type of person are you. It will have some time or like a verification period or like a waiting period before you could actually use your account properly. So I'm going to go with an individual seller for now. Click on next. And now over here, we're going to have to enter a phone number. We're going to use a random number for now. We're going to go to receive SMS over here. Click on this link over here. So we're going to be provided with a random phone number for now. So we're going to use this as our phone number for our PayPal account. I'm going to make sure to edit this just like that. Click on next. And we're going to wait for our security challenge going to click on I am a human and now it's going to send a confirmation code to our phone so we're going to wait for it in this website we're going to update the message now when creating your personal account make sure that you are actually using your own phone number because this will serve as a security measure for your account so don't follow what I'm doing and I'm just doing this for our tutorial wherein I'm using this receive SMS as our phone number. So we're going to copy the code being set. As you can see, this is from PayPal and we're going to paste it over here. And over here, we're going to have to enter our email address, our first name and last name and middle name over here. And then you will be able to create your password. Now over here, I'm going to enter a random email, a uh, backup email that I have. And then we're going to enter a first name and middle name over here and then a last name over here this is just for random name but for you you're going to have to enter a proper information the information that matches your id or a valid id that you will be using to verify your account and then you're going to create a password and we're simply going to click on next 
and now over here you're going to have to enter your address and information right here first the date of birth you could go with any day uh like i said earlier make sure that everything is accurate so it depends on you you could choose your national or id type over here depending on what you have you can have national id passport or a driver's license this is for verification and then you're going to have to enter your id number over here your street name house number subdivision barangay and district over here ctn municipality zip code province and region over here and then confirm it over here and now after entering those information you will see this you will see this page over here where it's going to ask you what would you like to do with paypal first you could have shop where you can shop online or you could send money over here for us we're going to click on browse and we're going to explore our paypal wallet over here now the first thing you could do is to link a card over here you could link your debit or credit card number over here enter your credit type or your card type you have visa mastercard american express discovery union pay and diners club over here your security code and like your billing address over here depending on what type of information what type of address you have typed in earlier for now we're not going to do that so we're going to click on not now and now as you can see here this is the home page of paypal as you can see here because our information is pretty random it's permanently limiting our account until they have a review over here now we're going to ignore this because this is just for a tutorial this is not for an actual account but so we're going to show you how the paypal would look like as you can see this is where you will be able to see your paypal balance you how much money you have in your account you could transfer funds by clicking this button over here you could see the recent activities happening on your account like how much money you're receiving from whom and from when you could also see how much you're sending to someone to whom and when once again you could track everything happening on your paypal account in this section over here you could also connect your banks and card over here by clicking this link a card or bank option over here or this icon over here you could also create an invoice if you would like by clicking this button you could set payments and you could also request money to different people and you could add a cart to shop the world over here as you can see you could click on send and request over here the different wallets that you have over here you could click on wallet you could link your different cards over here this is where you will be able to manage them you could also see here you will be able to manage your currencies over here if someone sends you a usd or a money using usd you will be able to see it over here and you could convert it to your primary which is right now philippine peso but you could change this as you can see here you could change it to usd if you click on make primary over here you could also add a currency over here you could choose from all of these different options that is available in this section you could also check out a currency calculator over here so that you would know how much the exchange rate exchange rate would be on the current day right now and to be able to fully activate your account all you need to do is to wait for a few days if your account is freshly new you will need to have to wait for at least 21 days or to make this faster you can simply verify your account by adding a card and a bank over here by clicking this section over here you will be able to add a bank and by doing those things you will be able to hasten and help verify your account with paypal and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching